Incredibly upsetting to everyone, Kentaro Miura died on the 6th of May 2021 of aortic dissection in his heart. This video won't be monetized. I just want to make a concise video for the Berserk, manga, and anime communities and just to briefly talk about this exceptional man that impacted us so much in our lives through this story. When I saw the news on Twitter on Thursday, I was shocked. I hoped that the news was not true, but I just felt empty the whole day after. Never really has an artist's death affected me this much, and I emphasize this feeling that others have experienced in the past of other creators or someone who's been an influence or a role model to you. Zerk truly meant so much to the fans. I remember reading Berserk for the first time five years ago when I was on holidays. I was so excited and invested in the story that most of my time for the two weeks I was sitting around on my tablet on the lounge chair reading the whole series and catching up to the latest chapter. Around this time in my life I was doing some identity searching to find out who I really was as a person and what I liked in life. Reading Berserk in a way was a main influence that gave me the confidence and the belief to accept who I was and be proud of what I enjoyed in my life. And the story was just so eye-opening to me, daring to cross those boundaries of sensible storytelling and being unique. And as someone who wants to continue to create art and stories in the future, it was an amazing story and something that I really, it really impacted me at the time. Berserk began serialization in Huckle Sencher's bi-monthly seinen young animal magazine in 1989. And at the time of Miura's passing the series, had reached 40 volumes, 364 chapters published, and the 10 Black Swordsmen are alphabetical chapters. Miura received multiple awards throughout his career, most notably probably the 2002 Osamu Tezuka Cultural Prize Award for Ec Excellence. Berserk quite rightly has the reputation of starting the dark fantasy genre and inspired popular video game series such as Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Monster Hunter, and a lot more. And Guts's iconic sword has also been attributed to inspiring Cloud's sword from Final Fantasy VII and Dante's sword from Devil May Cry. And there's just a lot more that we can talk about, but those are the main ones. However, from roughly 2006 onwards, Berserk started to go on hiatus more frequently, having irregular serialization. And in the last five years, around only 20 chapters had been published. Many fans in the last 10 years suspected that Mura had illnesses or injuries to some extent for these extended hiatuses, but nothing was ever released about his health till the announcement of his passing officially. On the 20th of May 2021, the Hakusensha Young Animal Editorial Department announced to the public that Mura had passed away 14 days ago. It was lovely and respectful that the editors kept the news hidden to allow time for Mura's family and close friends to mourn. Having been thinking about Miura's death and the Berserk series as a whole for the last couple of days, I've come to the resolution that I don't care that Berserk didn't finish, nor do I care if Togashi's series of Hunter x Hunter and Takahiko Inoue's series of Vagabond, if they finish, but I do care that Miura did not get to personally finish the series for his satisfaction and his own gratification for his countless hours of hard work, blood, sweat and tears to the series, constantly putting out a couple of chapters each year, constantly moving the story forward. He truly never gave up. So what happens though to the Berserk manga now? There's still a lot of uncertainty regarding the future of the series. Usually more concrete information is released when an unexpected circumstance occurs in the manga industry, it will be pretty clear cut if a series will continue or not. But it is still possible for the Berserk manga to return and we should remain optimistic. Two of Miura's assistants from Studio Gaga, Miura's studio, also gave statements on Twitter the last couple of days. Most notably one posted, I don't know what's going to happen and I'm not in a position to decide on it, so I'll move underwater for a while, even if there is a specific thing it will be timed. He also stated, I will add it here for honor, but Sensei for the past 15 years or so, he has had a fairly decent diet. Another assistant on Twitter also briefly posted, yeah, I'll do my best. We can only speculate, of course, but this does seem to, just to suggest that there is still something in the works for Berserk. 
Chapter 364 was also expected to come out in the next couple of months and Mira might have had a couple more chapters finished or nearly finished as well, having done the storyboards. Mira might have given the assistants or young animal a plot script where the progress of the story would continue giving guiding notes or a family member or friend might have you know, some details and provide them to the publisher. You don't know, but it could happen. I think it would be nice if the series continued for the assistants if Mira left guided content behind that he planned to complete soon. It will be hard for the assistants to meet the art standards that Mira has set, but I'm sure they will strive to achieve this in honour of Mira's legacy. But if no content was left behind by Mura, then I don't think this story should continue. I think it should be done as it is. I think fans agree with that. But it does seem from these tweets that something has been noted left, maybe for the assistance, or plans are in work, maybe for a later date to continue the manga soon. Just thinking of the story, I don't think we will ever get the conclusion of the God Hand and Griffith, but it could be a nice, satisfying ending to finish the series in the Fantasia arc as Guts and Co are safe there at the moment and happy. Casca also got her memories back recently, a couple of chapters ago, and the series could end there possibly with the Moonlight Child, Guts and Casca, possibly. I think that would be a nice, satisfying, fulfilling ending. Thanks for watching.